Alright guys, this is Nacho Latte, and today I'll be showing you guys how to do some basic color correction settings that I used in my montage recently posted on my YouTube. So uh, we'll start off with the one that someone asked for the settings for. So I'll just show you that, bring up the effects. All right, so here we go. We'll start off with the saturation. This is what everyone should use, I think. It's a really nice looking uh, sort of, it just boosts everything, all the nice looking colors. Cause I mean, look at that. It looks all dull, no one wants to see that. So you just wanna, oh yeah, look at those colors. I bet you guys are like, so MGs, those things look so cool. Alright. Um, so this is the part, I think, where you guys didn't know exactly where I got this effect from. It's basically just a vignette and a tint. So, this is a preset, so you guys shouldn't need to copy down those settings. Um, and this, you can copy down these settings right now if you want to. Amount is at 1. Center is at 0 0.25, spread is at 0 0.5, low is at negative, seven, negative 0 0.75, and high is at 1. So pause it, do whatever, but um, that's that. Here's the uh, vignette that I used. It's called warm vignette. So if I drag it down here, it pops up. Um, I'll even take it off if you want me to prove it to you, even though I don't really care. But Alright, so here it is. Um, this effect is pretty simple to understand. The one thing I don't like is this sort of brown tint it adds to it. But you can easily adjust that, make it a larger tint or a bigger amount. Or just bring it down to zero. Or you could even change the color of the tint. So mess around with those settings. You can change the contrast or whatever you want in here. But uh, you can do that. I don't care. So uh, here's the vignette part, which is a vignette is basically just a black outer rim. Doesn't matter what size, what anything. It's just basically a black outer rim. So um. You can change the shape from a circle or ellipse to a rectangle. I think it looks best with rectangle. You can change the color, add a nice blur to it, or keep it as black. I just kept it as black. Change the opacity right here. So there it is at nothing, and there it is at 100. It looks better that way, I guess, because you can actually see it. <laughs> so, um... You can change the sort of gradual change right here. It's called softness. If you want it at 100, it gives it a nice gradual change. Or 50, I don't know. Uh, or if you put it at 0, it's just a solid change. Looks it doesn't look as smooth right there. So I'll, I keep it at 50 most of the time. And then down here you can just change how close in you want it, or how high or low you want it. I don't know, just mess around with all that. I think these are cool effects in the soft contrast. Um, and then here's one of the other color corrections I used. Not the AK, where is it? Alright, so I believe this is a good clip I could use. Uh, no, that's not it. Maybe this one. Alright, here we go. This is basically just uh, my average color correction. I have the same saturation that I used before. The color correction, I saved the preset. 
if you don't know how to do that, just rename it to whatever. And then hit this little save button. Um, and it'll pop up in saturation just because that's the effect I used. And then this contrast, I always add a little bit of contrast to make it darker. As you can tell, it just barely makes it darker, but it looks better that way. And then here is my soft contrast preset, which you can see right here. It's uh, these two. Well, actually, that's the preset which I, everyone with Vegas has. And then this is the one that you have to make. So you can copy down these settings if you want to. Um, pause it, whatever. Um, I have the blur, blur outside, so you can. It's like a small blur because the strength of it is only half. So it's just a slight blur, which is good enough. And then I'll show you guys one more. All right right at the throwing knife just a basic where is it all right right here i think this is one of the uh cool effects that you guys can get um it looks really good on a darker map is i don't know i don't know how to explain it but a lot of people like to use those in montages um, I have the same soft contrast preset. Actually, no, I don't. Hold on. I'll show you guys that first. So basically, for this sort of outer rim, I basically use this. Actually, I use that, but I got rid of the tint, so now it's no tint on the inside. It's just normal uh, transparency. And then... I used one of these, I think it's like blue mid-tones, I'll have to check. So it's a color corrector, it gives it that nice purple looking look. So if I take this off, there's just one, and it looks really nice with that purple effect. A lot of people like to use those in montages, so uh, here I didn't, I just, uh, basically made it really dark and I don't know I think it everything will look better if you lower contrast or higher it I mean you want to higher it higher contrast makes it look better I mean this these uh, colors look really nice so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this learned a couple settings or two I know I did when I uh, first found found out how to make this these. Also, one last thing, I just want to show you this. Uh, I made this one color curves. So say it's a dark map like this, and I really darken it up. If you want it to look brighter, you just want to make a color curves like this. I'll show you. Basically, just a smooth curve right there it'll really boost up this light as you can see it sort of like finds the dark and brightens it up a little bit so um or you can keep it dark either one it just like on chinatown i know how to, i had this one clip you could barely see anything so i made this and it really brightens it up so just a quick tip right there and uh if you guys uh, like this, then uh, like it on YouTube. <laughs> and um, that's about it. If you guys want to know any more settings, feel free to comment. And I will try and make a tutorial as soon as I can. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe. Thanks.